Hello, this is Lou Engel with The Call, and we're thrilled to be announcing The Call Geneva on December 8th. Yeah. We believe a solemn assembly that can change the world. I'm here with my friends, Stacy Campbell, Sean Foyt, who are actually being used around the world mobilizing prayer. Joel chapter 2 really is the foundation of The Call. It's when there's no hope for a nation, when there is no remedy, God says, I still have a holy prescription. Mm -hmm. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Call a fast. Gather the young and old, two generations. Let them cry out to God, and afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. The call started in D.C. It was uh, a tw uh, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. 400,000 young people primarily, but two generations gathered to fast and pray. It was a shot that was heard around the world. It's not an American deal. It's a it's a end time prayer movement for the nations to call upon God. And so we're excited about going to Switzerland. Stacy, why don't you share your heart concerning Well, it? we have seen solemn assemblies in many nations transform uh, governments, economies, like actually make significant impact. And so we are uh, feeling 12 years after the launch yes. of uh, the call, we are feeling to go to uh, Geneva, Switzerland, and the pastors of Geneva have agreed to come together to host a Reformation call where we're going to wait on the Lord in the city of Reformation where there's Reformation Wall. The World Trade Organization is there. The Red Cross was launched in Geneva out of revival. YWAM, they had, YWAM was launched out of Switzerland. So many great movements. It's an international city in an international country, and we feel to launch an international movement of prayer on 12, 8, 12, and culminating on the 10th to the 12th in a prayer school and a burn worship intercession movement on 12 12 12 so we want to invite all of Europe to come to Geneva with us yeah we're asking the Lord to send an army of young worshipers and intercessors from all across Europe to come and gather. I was on the ground there a few months ago and you can just feel uh, that the city, yeah. it's pregnant once again it's with true. revival. Just like the mantle yeah. on it in, in, in history past, there, there is a destiny on that city to host mm -hmm. and commission revivalists and worshipers to, to the nation. So we're really excited. We're going to do the call on the 8th and then the 9th, 10th and 11th we'll be training and we'll be teaching and then on the uh, on the on the twelfth, we're gonna end with twenty four hour blowout of just worship and prayer. We're all just gonna be going crazy. There'll probably be tons of different languages prayed and spoken and worshipped in, and it's gonna be wild. We want to see the spirit of God <laughs> fall in the whole world. You know, it's where the UN is, yeah. where the nations gather together. God says, "I'm gonna gather my people together." And I'm installing my son on his holy man, mountain Zion said, ask of me, I'll give you the nations as your inheritance. December 8th, the call, we'll see you there.